College and Career Technical Institute, home of Bridge Academies, and the CTE instructional place of the Pascagoula Gaucher School District. Come on in and see our courses. So, welcome to Gaucher, and this is the Unmanned Aerial Systems class. In this class, you basically learn about drones, like the flight dynamics of drones, the properties of drones, and basically uh, the history of drones. And then, and later on, you'll get into the regulations of drones and that kind of stuff. And in this class, you can get you a part 107 uh, certification slash license, and that will allow you to fly for, for money, for compensation legally, um, you know, so that can maybe help you kind of like start a job or make a business. So come on, let's go into the club. So um, this is Mr. Weigel. He is the teacher of the class. These are some of the students. A couple of these students here have um, their part on the seven certification. And uh, so if you're interested in drones or maybe trying to start a business or photography, this is definitely a good class for you. Hello, my name is Bridget Foster. I am in PLTW. I'm in my second year and I'm currently in the cybersecurity class taught by Ms. Jana Odoms here at CCTI. And in cybersecurity, we learn how to program computers, how to guard against hackers, how to encrypt data, and really how integrated computers are in our everyday life and how much we use them. So here's the cybersecurity classroom. And I'm going to hand it over to Markel, who's going to take you all through the business finance and marketing class. Hi, my name is Markel Williams, and this is business finance and marketing, where we learn how to market different services and products, create ads and commercials for different businesses, and a lot more. Once you've completed two years of this program, you'll receive the opportunity to intern with local businesses such as Singer River Federal Credit Union or McDonald's. My name is Shania and I'm a year two student here in the culinary arts program at CCTI. This program helps students prepare for the hospitality industry and help them enter at entry level positions. Year one students concentrate on kitchen terminology, food safety, and job safety, and they also help them become more experienced in the kitchen. Year two students are learning proper nutrition, employer and restaurants, management and they are also helping us learn like be more experienced in kids so like when we graduate high school we can focus more on jobs and our careers um when you finish this program at the two year you get a free college inter internship and you also get a surf safe manager right now we are walking into our kitchen this is where all the magic happens um this is where we do everything like open cafe, we fix coffee, and we also serve and clean. Hey, my name is Kiara Smith. I am in the Health Science 2 class. In this class, we learn CPR, about different careers that you can do in the health science field. Right now, we're doing our clinicals virtually because of the coronavirus pandemic. And so right now, our, my class is in a lab where they're learning blood pressure, first aid, um, sterile gloving. Welcome to Logistics. Oh, let's say it again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Logistics. My name is Mr. Rex. I teach transportation, distribution, and logistics. Logistics is, it takes that 
and it gets a plan together to actually get it to the marketplace. Do you understand what that means? Yeah. But listen, if you're driving down the highway, right? <coughs> and the highway just goes straight, straight, mile to mile. But then, do you ever see off-ramps, right? Do you on the off-ramp? Okay, well, you don't, but people get on off-ramps to get off, right? Mm -hmm. When you get on off-ramp, then how do you make a decision? You gotta make a choice to go a particular direction. All right, let me ask you this. What if you're driving with your parents, you got on the off-ramp, and your parents are about to make a decision, and you come to that stop right there where the light's at, and there's nothing there? Do you understand what I'm saying about nothing there? No, no, nothing physically there. What, is, what, what am I saying? You come right there, and there's nothing physically in front of you. Dirt road, wilderness, whatever, nothing there. So you couldn't go anywhere. That's what logistics is, because at some point, there wasn't access to go places. You see what I'm trying to say? <coughs> so people who take logistics actually talk about, hey, cutting down trees, paving roads, making it so people can, so actually you wouldn't be able to get home. You'd be stuck right there at that off-ramp, not going to do anything. But logistics will teach you how, whatever you can do to get from where you're at to wherever you want to go. So that's like the easiest way to explain it. Hey guys, it's Caleb Jackson, student ambassador for engineering and robotics. And let me show you our new lab that we added uh, this year. So this is the innovation uh, lab. As you can see here, we have a lot of uh, fabrication things like 3D printing, we have some robotic stuff, we have laser engraving, we have, uh, we have the, the rolling system so we can uh, use film and make you know, different types of stuff like that. Here we have the uh, first Lego League, which is gonna be used for, uh, you know, younger kids so they can get a little taste of STEM and robotics. So that's gonna be real nice here. We got some VEX, got some VEX pulley systems. And this is our newest, uh, this is our newest iteration. Where right here is gonna be our CNC machine. And this is our CNC recloser, so we can keep all the dust uh, into one location. So we can make uh, different designs, we can make signs, you know, endless possibilities. We can make parts for robots and all types of stuff that needs to be intricately milled. And since it's some of our work desks, you can see here, you know, we got boards. And we got these uh, fun shapes, you know, fun shaped sitting areas. And then we have the latest iteration in uh, stand-up desks. You can see here, they go up and down. Pretty neat to say if you want to sit and work. It could, you know. So basically, this is going to be our newest place. Uh, you know, big ideas is going to be made here. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send Ms. Hess in the email or contact the CCTI because this is where we innovate. This is our lab. Hey, y'all. My name is John. I'm a third year uh, student over here at the CCTI for engineering. And my teacher is Ms. Harrison. And for first year kids, you take IED, which is Introduction to Engineering Design. And for second year kids, you take Principles of Engineering, which is POE. Third year, you take Aerospace Engineering. And fourth year, you take EDD, which is basically Engineering Design. And that's pretty much it. Hi, my name is Gabriel Gomez, and I'm an ambassador here at the CCTI. And I'm also in my second year of the Architectural and Drafting program. In the first year of the program, students are able to learn how to use AutoCAD software to develop a house plan. In the second year, students use this skill to build a house plan for their final exam at the end of the year. And this is our classroom. Hi, I'm Shakoya Adderley. I'm a year two student at Teacher Academy. And in this program, we prepare ourselves to be educators and teachers in the field. To prepare us for this, we do a lot of hands-on activities such as visiting schools and working on projects to help us learn about early education. This is our classroom. Hey, this is Mr. Thompson. I'm the instrumentation of the code teacher. And in this class is an NCCER uh, credential class. It does allow you to get certifications in NCCER in instrumentation level one. It's a two-year class. It also will link to the Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, uh, two year scholarship. In this class, you'll learn the basics of the NCCR core, and then as the beginning of, uh, at the end of the third, 
We'll give it a third term, you'll go into instrumentation level one. Then second year, you just all instrumentation level one uh, with review, empty, and CCDR. You'll learn the pain tool, power tool of both NCCDR and instrumentation and control. You'll also have the opportunity to venture out into NCC uh, instrumentation and control at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College once you finish this course. It can lead into jobs like the Chevron, Mississippi Power, Senior River Electric, England, and they want to be controlled department, and numerous other places. The biggest thing that you got to understand when you come in to NC, to NCCER and to the curriculum, that it's a lot of things that you will learn hands-on. Uh, you do more hands-on than in, in your second year than you do in your first year. So don't get confused about, oh man, this is all the shop classes. It's a learning opportunity too. It benefits you and, and, and yourself for a career choice that can make you anywhere in between 65, starting out at $65,000 a year to $80,000 a year. It just depends on what, you, what your job is. Um, any other questions? If you would like to join this class, or be a part of this class, I do have young ladies in this class. So this class is not just, it's not just an old male class. Female class too. Any questions? Get back with me. Twenty-five or three. Um, so I'm Ms. Gray, and I teach health science one and sports med here at the CCTI. And this is Jerry Smith. I am a year two of health science. All right. So in my program here at the CCTI uh, with health science one, you get the fundamentals, the basics of health science. So no matter what career you want to go into, whether it be nursing, pediatrics, or any type of health-related field. When you take my class for year one, you get those basic fundamental knowledge that you would need, uh, core concepts, infection control, emergency uh, health care. And so that's the basics of health science one. And in sports med two, we pretty much rehabilitate injuries. Uh, we learn how to treat injuries and we learn things such as taping, wrapping, and how to really be involved with athletes um, when an injury occurs either on the field or on the sideline of an athletic game. Yes, just to add on what she said, Health Science 1, you're basically learning the things you need to know to go into Health Science 2, as well as the legal, ethical, and professional responsibilities that comes with being in Health Science and Sports Medicine. And in, and in Sports Medicine 2, they also are able to do on-site learning with athletic training. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eli Finney. I'm the student ambassador for the Precision Machining Program at High School of Goshe School District's Votech Building. Uh, right now we're in the shop. Precision Machining 1, you learn basic lane skills, safety, just a couple of basic tools in the shop, um, how to do layout, a couple of uh, good things that are good to know for all purposes in industry. Precision Machining 2, you learn more advanced uh, lathe operations and advanced milling techniques, and we start to get into the CNC some.
this is follow science. Polymer science is a material, a material science course that studies the pop solids, polymers, composites, metals, and ceramics. It is designed to provide students with hands-on experience in lab-related settings. Diego, uh, this is our HVAC program. Uh, we really, uh, we install air conditioners. Uh, this is one we recently installed, but we took it all apart. So we'll learn how to install it and like just get used to installing it, uh, air conditioners. Place where we have programs for all types of students, whether you're into technology or you want to learn a craft or maybe service to your community. If you're into any of those things, this is the place for you.